Hello everyone, Etta here. I have a small haul that I wanted to show you that I got today from Jim's Daughter's Crafts. Jim's Daughter Crafts. Um, she has a store on the Etsy site and she's actually in the process of getting her own website um, completed. So pretty soon that'll be a thing for her. I'm, I'm excited for her, that's an awesome thing. But in the meantime, you can still find her on Etsy. So um, it's actually two hauls combined into one because she was very generous about uh, holding my first order because like less than a week later she was going to have her, um, her ready to ship and so and she knew I was going to be ordering some stuff so she um, was kind enough to hold my order for me and so I have like two two sets of items that I purchased oops and they go onto the back <laughs> um so the first part of the order was items that she just had available uh, already on her site and then the second order was the items that she had on her ready to ship that she released she did like a christmas in july so there might be a few pieces still left but i think for the most part we all bought it <laughs> um that she had asked on her Facebook group page for suggestions of some items to do for Christmas in July. And I thought it was extremely wonderful of her. She actually, I think, probably poured just about everybody's suggestion and we got to name them and everything so I thought that was so so nice and I was super excited about trying everybody's blends and as many at least as I could um and obviously I wanted to try my own right so I am ready to go through oh I guess I should have showed you the box it was all nice and pretty it has the little tissue paper with the sticker that says oh happy day your order is here and then you open it up and everything is packaged very nicely and there's a little Ziploc bag in here with some candy, which, yeah, I'm always happy with candy, right? So we got some Laffy Taffy and grape. Mm, let's see. Ooh, some extra gum. A Laffy Taffy and banana. Oh, I love banana flavor. Ooh, a high chew and green apple. I really like those high chews. All right, and in here was also her card. Her name is Michelle Clark. She is the creator and owner. She is located in Virginia. And again, her, her uh, site is Jim's Daughter Crafts. And it's got the um, Etsy.com and then the information. So I'm gonna put that up. Hopefully you can see all of that so that you can check out her Etsy site. And it says a few things about my wax. I use a parasoy wax, which has the long lasting effect of soy and the hot throw of paraffin. I have tested and tested different waxes and so far this one is my favorite. It requires a two week cure period. Please notice the pour, the pour date, oh, there's a pour date, on the label and allow your wax melt to cure. As with fine wine, the more it ages, the better it throws. For best results, place your melt in an appropriate appropriate warmer. I love electric warmers, but notice some of my melts throw better in a tea light warmer. Thank you so much for ordering. Happy melting. So I have a, I have a um, tea light warmer on my desk where I work, so I probably will try quite a few of them there. Um, but if I only try them there, it'll take me forever to get through them. So I'll probably will put some of them in some of my warmers that I have, especially like some of these samples, perfect size pieces to put in like my half bath where I keep the door closed. I can get a good idea of the scent in there. So this first sample that she sent me is Miss Goody Two Shoes. And it's a little smiley face. Was it? I think I showed it to you right side up. Ooh, nice. I get like a cookie kind of scent to it. And I don't have like the site pulled up so that I can tell you what the scent notes are. 
but I definitely get a bakery scent from it. it smells good. Miss Goody Two Shoes. All right. Oh, I forgot to bring my water with me. All right. Uh, the next one is a sample of Fall Hoodie Weather. Let's see. Fall Hoodie Weather. I'm wondering if um, it has a little bit of like sweater weather or something like that is the... I definitely get a fall scent from it. it smells good too. I can't tell you the notes because I'm just can't necessarily distinguish them, but kind of, I almost get a little bit of a fruit note, but I get a fresh and almost, um, almost a tree kind of scent in there. Very fall like, very good. All right. Then there is a sample of Bedtime Snack. Now, don't eat it, but it's called Bedtime Snack. And I'm guessing looking at the back of this, it looks like it might have lavender because it looks like little tiny lavender sprig pieces in there. And Bedtime Lavender seems to be a popular scent to use for bedtime scents. Ooh. That smells good. I do get like a lavender and kind of like a bakery at the same time. That's nice, very nice. The lavender is a, I would consider kind of on the sweet side for a lavender. I don't get like a strong herbal kind of note to it. Now this one kind of cracks me up when I look at the name, especially after just smelling a lavender scent. I have said many times that I don't usually like lavender or, or I'm starting to, but there have been many, many, many times I haven't liked lavender because for me, many lavenders will come across like a bug spray. And then I saw the name of this one, it's called Bug Juice, <laughs> I thought, Hmm, I just smelled lavender and then this one's called Bug Juice. That would have been the one to have a strong lavender scent on. Have that bug spray smell. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. Fruity, definitely fruity. Can't, can't distinguish them. It's kind of on the soft side, but I know I recognize the, the fruit. I can't place it though. Can't place it. it. Smells good though. It does smell a little on the light side though. All right, then let's see. I know this one was from my original order. I saw this and I thought, oh, I definitely have to try this. It's Aruba Coconut, a blend of coconut with hints of fruits. Um, let's see. It's got a pour date of seven, four. Let's see. Oh, tight clamshell. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. It's not like a sweet coconut. It's like a very, um, yeah. Oh gosh. Hope I didn't break it. Kind of push the plastic piece a little too hard. What is that scent? It says the hint of fruits. It's not a very sweet coconut either. Um, I'm not sure I like the fruit mixing with the coconut or it's a strange coconut that kind of throws me off a little bit. Definitely different. It's probably going to be one of those ones that when you warm it, you think, oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But so many times I've thought on cold sniff, not really, not really my thing. And then, um, and then I love it. 
I always think of last year's Sensi's uh, gingerbread hugs on cold sniff. I thought it was horrendous. And I warmed it because, you know, I bought it. So I warmed it and I wound up putting it in my club for a little while because that's how much I liked it. I thought it was really, really good. So I can't, you can't always go by cold sniff. All right. The next one is called Amber Romance Dupe. Smoky Black Cherry. Creme Anglaise sandalwood, amber, and Egyptian musk. Ooh, that sounds really, really nice to me. Poured on 7.5. My goodness, these clam shells are really tight. <laughs> I think y'all know how much, if you know, if you've watched my channel, you know how much I like amber and sandalwood, especially when when they're in a scent together. Mmm. And I've definitely have smelled Egyptian musk, and I think it's really, really good. Um, I'm not getting like a strong cherry. I'm not getting a a cherry scent. I'm really getting mostly. I think um, so far on the top, I'm smelling the uh, amber, the sandalwood, and the Egyptian um, Egyptian musk. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting, um, like, I'm not getting a cherry. And right now, so far, my sniffer is still working. I, I think I said on one of my videos, you know, I had a lot of family people, household, my son who, you know, is married now and everybody seemed to have tested positive and my husband and I had, um, We'd already been vaccinated and he had gone and get tested and it was negative and I was feeling fine. And, and then this past Saturday he went and got tested again because he felt like he had a cold and we wanted to make sure and sure enough he tested positive positive. And I am, I have not tested, but, um, I kind of feel like I have gotten it because I've had some symptoms, I guess, uh, that don't seem like just run of the day, run of, run of the mill kind of feelings. Um, so, but it's been very, very mild so far for me and I'm hoping it stays that way and I can still smell and I can still taste. So that's awesome. Cause I have been putting, I've been trying to do like some stronger scents just to make sure I can smell it. Um, and I've asked everybody in the house, like, what do you think? And everybody says, I don't smell anything. And I'm like, you can't smell that. And they like, no, don't smell anything. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I can still smell. <sighs> Amber Romance Dupe. Love it. All right. I got to hurry up because otherwise this is going to get too long. All right, then I got one called Sage and Mint. I love mint scents. Fresh mint, bergamot, sage, apple, musk, and ozone notes. And it's got a pour date of 7-8. Like that. Ooh, that one came up easy. Oh, that's nice. I definitely like the sage and the mint. I'm trying to see if I get a little bit of a bergamot, you know, which tends to be a little citrusy. Ooh, I get a lot of green. I'm guessing that's probably the sage. Could be even the fresh mint because the mint, you know, kind of give you that green note at the same time, but I get mint. Wow. That is really nice. I like that. And it does have like a fresh kind of scent to it at the same time, I guess maybe for the ozone notes. I, I don't know if I was picking up apple and stuff, but it smells good. I like it. Did quite, I did, she got quite a bit stuffed in here, so it's probably more than I'm thinking it is. Um, okay, the next one I got is Hula Girl, and that was sweet coconut, island fruits with notes of tiara flowers and plumeria, and it was poured on 7-8, and it's kind of got like a purple color to it. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, you see the coconut here is definitely on the sweeter side. It's not like a super sweet coconut, but it is a sweet coconut. Whereas the other one had like no sweetness. And I don't know if I didn't necessarily like the way it was mixing with the fruit or if it was just a particular oil of the coconut. 
I much, I like this one much more. So obviously I like sweet coconut scents and not whatever the other one was, which might have just been like plain coconut, like coconut meat that has no sweetness at all. Wow, that's pretty. I like that. Um, and I get like a little bit of a fruit note, but not like distinctive. It's not like, oh, I, sm I smell pineapple or I smell apple or I smell mango, papaya or anything like that. Just like a fruit kind of note to it. They're blended really well that I can, I can, I feel like there's several different fruits. I just can't pick out any of them in particular. And they mix really well with that sweet coconut. Um, I mostly probably get coconut and like a fruit kind of scent. I don't pick up a, like a distinct floral, which for those of you who aren't big into floral would probably be a good thing. The other clam I got is called Wild West. Mysterious, slightly masculine, with hints of leather and musk poured on 7-8. You know I was going to have to get that, right? If it says slightly masculine, me personally, if it, I probably, you know, probably would have loved it if it had said big time masculine, but I like the picture on that one too. It's kind of like a yellow golden kind of color. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely get the leather. Almost like a leather, and I guess it says musk, but almost like the leather would be mixed with, and I have not gotten this scent. I, I don't believe I've ever gotten this scent, but you know, sometimes you see the name of a scent and in your mind, you, you've already decided what it smells like because based on the name, you, you know, if I tell you apple, you think apple. If I tell you rose, you think of a rose, if, you know, something like that. So I'm thinking of, I think there's one that's called sand and sun is the name or something like that. Sand and something. That's kind of what I'm thinking this is like a combination of leather a little bit of musk, um, and then like sand and sun. That's, it's probably not what's in there, but that's what my brain thinks it is. Nice. I like that. And it's not super leathery, right? It's not like it's a strong leather scent. It's just, um, something to, to give it a little leather scent in there. Let's see. I'm trying to pick out the things that were from the first order first. Um, let's see. Oh, I picked up a, a shot cup of a scent called Viper. And it says, a light masculine shaving cream scent. I like that. Oh, sorry. Help some. Pour it on 629. And it's a blue color. I'm going to need more Viper. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's my kind of masculine. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, I, I'd actually like it if it was a stronger Viper because I like masculine scents and I like them to be strong. It's probably perfect the way it is. I'm just, you know, being picky and saying I wish it was stronger. It may be, you know, let it sit for a little bit longer and it, it may be just as strong as I need it to be. All right. Then I also picked up, she had started, um, she had asked if we thought this was a good idea on her site. And I think everybody said yes. Um, because there's so many times when you're doing a scent and, um, we all know, like you think, Oh, if I add, I've heard people say, you know, if I add a little sugar cookie to it or vanilla bean buttercream or something like that to make it a little more bakery, right. You, or you think, Oh, I'd like, I wish it had just a little bit of cinnamon or I wish it had a little bit of this. Right. So she made these little, um, they, for lack of a better word, they kind of remind me of, um, like dipping dots. Put one in my finger here so that you could see. 
little tiny dots basically of wax all right so a little cup full so you could put as few or as many as you want in into like a, a mix to kind of add a certain scent and I would have liked a bunch of the different ones that she had, but I think this might have been one of the only ones left when I went and looked. It might have been one other one, but it wasn't one that I personally wanted. But this one I did. So I picked up one called Butter Mints. And this one was poured on 622. And it says, just like the candy, a sweet and creamy mint scent. And like I said, it's like a little cup. And I didn't even smell it. That's what it smells like, butter mints. And wow, relatively strong on the butter mints because um, which, what's the scent that we had in Scentsy that is supposed to be like a butter mint? Um, can't think of the name. You know what I'm talking about. I find that one to be on cold sniff. I find it to be relatively soft. Um, like, you know, it's butter mints, but it's like a really, really soft butter mint. This one is like butter mints. <sighs> that is fantastic. Oh my goodness, Michelle, that is just absolutely fantastic. Love the butter mints. Love, love, love them. Mm, I'm going to look forward to that one. All right, I think what's left in my box is everything that I picked up. I think, I think, I think I picked up from the um, Christmas in July haul. So like I said, and I kind of wish I had pulled up my stuff because I would have liked to have told you whose blend it was, but I didn't think to grab my phone ahead of time. Well, I'm filming on my phone, but I have an other phone that I could probably have used. But I think it also would have to still be on the site for me to know that, or I'd have to go look up her original listing, which was on Facebook. So if, if I name your blend and you watch this video in the comments, put down which scent it was and you know, that it was your blend. And that way people, you know, you get credit for it being your blend, even though Michelle put it together for us. Um, all right, so this first one's called It's Fall, y'all. A blend of pumpkin, pecan waffles, and cider lane. And it was poured on 721. And these are huge. Look at the, so the thickness of that. And I believe it's a pumpkin. Okay, I should have looked it up because it's fall, y'all. Whoever came up with this one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a big old pumpkin. And actually I was looking at the back, all right? Cause the front has like little, it is fantastic. Oh my goodness. And the, um, I would say that the cider lane maybe the cider lane oil that she has is a cider lane that's i would think kind of kind of strong on the apple and very like apple cidery and i've i've said that i'm i'm more team apple um so i personally smell the cider lane more than the pumpkin pecan waffles at least that's what my nose does my nose picks up more I do get the pumpkin pecan waffles, but on your, on that very first sniff, I picked up the cider lane more and I'm perfectly content with that because, oh my goodness, that smelled amazing. Very, very good. Oops. I pulled something out of the box without even realizing. All right. Let me put that one back in there. Um, the next one here is called Santa's brunch. And it's a blend of eggnog, zucchini bread, and a hint of cinnamon. That sounds so good. And it was poured on 715. So again, if this is your blend, don't forget if you see this, if you happen to watch this video, leave, um, leave a comment with Santa's brunch being yours. 
Oh, I love that savoriness of the zucchini bread. And I definitely get the eggnog. And the cinnamon is like a, yeah, I would say more of a bakery cinnamon. So, and it's kind of on the sweet side. It's not an overpowering cinnamon at all. Another one that's just fantastic. Michelle, you did an awesome job of blending these to make the, the different blends for every everybody. That is really good. So Santa's Brunch, yours came out great. The next one, oh, I remember seeing this person post something too. I think they, I think they weren't even able to get their own. I think by the time they got in there, they missed it. And I kind of, I kind of feel bad that I picked up one of yours and you didn't even, you weren't even able to get it. But I did pick up Cabin in the Woods, and it's a blend of Cider Lane type and Autumn Lodge, and it was poured on seven twelve. And it's a very pretty leaf. <sighs> Another one that is really good. I don't I don't get the apple as much like in the um, Santa. What is it? Santa's brunch. I really picked up that um, apple a lot. Or was that in the other one? No, that was, it's fall, y'all. That's the one that picked up the apple and very bright, vibrant. Yeah, it wasn't Santa's Brunch. That had eggnog and zucchini bread. Um, this one, I I get the apple, but it's not a super bright, vibrant apple in this one. I'm guessing it's the same oil, but maybe because of the way it mixes with um, Autumn Lodge. Autumn Lodge is more of a deep, rich kind of scent, at least to me. Smells good. Smells very, very good. Um, I hope you're able to get that cabin in the woods. I feel really bad. Um, wow, look at the size of this thing. All right, then this one, or was it this person? Okay, because these two names are similar. All right, so that was Cabin in the Woods. This one is Christmas in the Woods. Maybe it was this person who didn't get theirs. And this one is a blend of Palo Santo. Probably this one, huh? A blend of Palo Santo, crackling birch, and smoked vanilla. Oh my gosh, if that doesn't sound like scents that I would absolutely love. And it was poured on 714. And it's got a big old hedgehog. Love that. That is really, really good. Um, I have had another blend from an, another vendor that had that smoked vanilla, and I really like that. And I love birch. Uh, so crackling birch and then Palo Santo being another wood, right? So my goodness, definitely a woodsy scent with a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla, even though the vanilla is a smoked vanilla. Nice. Very, very nice. And I'm very sorry if, if Christmas in the woods is the person who didn't get theirs. Um... Ah, this one was by my very good friend, Anna Nation. She actually had won the, um, it wasn't a competition, but it, you know, it was like a challenge or whatever. And I didn't even know that there was going to be like a winner for it. I thought it was just a matter of giving ideas, right? Which it didn't matter to me whether somebody was going to win or not. I just, I like participating, so... But my friend Anna Nation, hers act, her blend actually won, and she got an um, she had it made for her extra um, ahead of time, and she got one earlier. So this one is Christmas Eve Fuel, a blend of candy canes, sugar cookies, and espresso, and this one was poured on seven seven. 
and I've been looking forward to trying this one ever since she won and let's see what what is oh it's a big huge snowman these things are huge look at this thing you can get a lot of pieces out of that Ooh. I could be mistaken, Anna, you've obviously smelled it already, but the espresso, do you find the espresso to be a sweetened espresso? Because I almost feel like it's not. The espresso adds this deep richness to the scent um, because the candy canes, you figure minty and sugary and then sugar cookies, bakery, sugary. The um, This does not come off like overly sweet after thinking candy canes and sugar cookies which makes which that's what's making me think that maybe the espresso is not a sweetened kind of espresso nice i keep wanting to smell it i'll tell you what i don't get a strong i don't get a strong mint from it either i do get the mint it's in there it's just not a super strong mint. I like that. I like that a lot. Anna, you you did really good, girl. Really, really good. Love it. Uh, ah, sticking here. Okay. Let's see. This one is called Santa's Laundry. A blend of twisted peppermint and clothesline. I was very interested to see what this would smell like. So whoever came up with that one, I'm, I'm very interested in your blend. Awesome, huge reindeer. I definitely get a lot of clothesline. Um, and clothesline reminds me so much of, um, is, that, is that what ours is called? I get them all confused now after a while, but that is what ours is called in Sensi, right? Clothesline? Pretty sure. But a uh, blend of twisted peppermint and clothesline. I get mostly clothesline. Mostly. And, oh, poor date. 7-12. So, yeah, it's, it's been two weeks. But you know me. I always leave them about a month. So the peppermint may develop a little bit more, but I get mostly clothes on. But there's there's a little something in there that kind of, um, like if you don't like that super strong laundry scent, the laundry scent is there, but I think the peppermint is kind of um, subduing it just a little bit, but I'm not getting much peppermint from it. That And that could just be me. But uh, uh, I could always add some of those butter mints in there just in, just in case. Uh, let's see. This one. Oh, yes. I wanted to see what this one would smell like, too. This one's called Fizzy Mint Noel. And it says a blend of vanilla bean Noel, twisted peppermint, and fizzy pop. And it was poured on 714. And it's a big old star. And, oh, it's like multi you know levels it's got white on both sides and red in the middle oh that smells good i definitely smell that fizzy pop and i smell i smell the, the mint that's different that's kind of cool i like that minty scent in there with the fizzy pop I'm not sure I smell the vanilla bean Noel, but that, that might just be my nose because, you know, my nose tends to pick up fizzy pop quite strong. And then I'm getting the peppermint from the twisted peppermint. So I think it's having a hard time picking up an actual vanilla scent in there. But I know it's in there. I know it's in there. That smells really good. Really good. So I like your fizzy mint Noel. That is very nice. 
Let's see, another star, and this one is in Cozy Winter Vibes, a blend of icy peppermint and sweater weather. A lot of peppermints. Um, this one was poured on 714. Cozy Winter Vibes. And like I said, another big star. Oh, I'm at 35 minutes. I'm going too slow. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. The peppermint stronger are in here. Like, um, it kind of, it kind of gives me the same vibes as like the the clothesline would, but the clothesline one has more of a laundry scent. Whereas this one, this one, I almost feel like it would be. Um, Like you washed it in a washer whiffs kind of thing that had a lot of peppermint in it. And you don't quite get the laundry scent from it anymore. It's been sitting in the closet and now it just smells like fresh, a fresh, let's say sweatshirt that has a very pepperminty kind of scent to it. I like that. That is really nice. I love, I love the mint scents. Golly, I love the mint scents. So very nice job with cozy winter vibes. Let's see. Oh, I think this one. Yeah, this one was from my original order. Both of these were from my original order. So these are not part of the Christmas one. This one was the ultimate hippie, a blend of the sweet smell of Nag Champa and an earthy hint of patchouli. So Nag Champa is a very incense-y kind of scent. It's using a lot of incense. Um, and then earthy hint of patchouli, the ultimate hippie. And I think I had gotten this one in a, um, a little cup once before. And I, I liked it in her sampler that she sent me and I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I would consider a earthy scent. Um, I would almost, I would almost say leaning towards like manly but more earthy than anything <sighs> man the ultimate hippie i really like that one Did i show it to you i know i showed you the label but it was a nice uh, like a snap bar right and then this one is another snap bar and this one's called boogie fever so camphor eucalyptus and mint and poured on 429 Ooh. And then these the snap bars are kind of remind me of like the, what is it, bougie bars from a different vendor. Um, let's see. This might do really well for my nose right now. Although I'm, I can smell, so. Woo! Smell that camphor. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just took a thing of Vicks and put it right up to my nose. Or oh, they have the, um, the Vicks that comes like in a little stick that you use like as an inhaler. like that always did like that kind of smell and then this one which was another one that i got on the first order this one is a dynamic duo so you get like two different scents so it says the white one is french baguette love french baguette and the red is macintosh apples so two scents that i love and this was poured on 526 and then you get like little, you know, little snap bars. So let's see. <sighs> yep, French baguette. I love that scent. And then this is Macintosh apples. Macintosh apples. Mmm, 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 mmm. Me personally, I'm probably gonna mix that French baguette with something else because I love um, the French baguette. But I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'll probably mix a little bit with the um, mac apple, but I think I'd like to mix it with something else. Let's see. And then there's two more. This, oh, it kind of fell off. It's got like a little 
heart. Oh, it's a Santa. It's not a heart. It's a Santa. Okay. This person's, this person's blend was called drunk Santa and it's a blend of bourbon butterscotch, flannel, and marshmallow fireside. And it was poured on 712. Oh, here's the, uh, label. And then you've got the, um, let's see if I can fix this. Yeah. I'm just going to pull it out so you can see it better anyways, because I think it would be nice to see this one. It's like a like a drink cup, and the looks like the Santa broke off right here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So, he, ah! Well, it'd be better if I didn't drop them on the ground. So, it's a little cup. You see it's got the straw, and... Santa's supposed to go right there. Very nice. Okay, so again, this one is bourbon, butterscotch, flannel, and, <clears throat> and marshmallow fireside. <sighs> Love that bourbon but butterscotch. Mmm. I think the the bourbon part of the bourbon butterscotch kind of keeps that butterscotch from being too buttery buttery you know because butterscotch can be like a very buttery kind of scent which i don't really mind but some people probably do mm. that's yeah i'm not too sure what flannel smells like i know what marshmallow fireside smells like but i think i'm probably picking up mostly uh, the bourbon butterscotch and I'm obviously I'm picking up the other stuff, but it's not very distinguishable to me. It's just blended in there to make an overall really nice scent. But initially what I could smell was the bourbon butterscotch. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose that little mini Santa. He's so cute. All right. So I like your blend too. Drunk Santa. Again, don't forget to leave your uh, name in the comments with your with your blend so that everybody knows which one was yours. <clears throat> and then the last one was the one that I had uh, had done. I actually had, um, again, I didn't know it was going to be like a challenge kind of thing. So my thought when she had originally asked was about, you know, a scent for Christmas in July. I remember thinking it was the beginning of July or it might have been at the very end of June. It was probably in June when we were talking about it. And I remember thinking it is so hot here in Houston. I can't even think about warming those deep, rich holiday scents, right? So I was like, I thought it would be a nice idea to do like... And I said, like, a, uh, call it Christmas pop and have like a variety of different things that you mix with a fizzy pop. So, you know, you could do like a, um, an apple with something and fizzy pop and then like, um, you know, like spruce with, uh, spruce with cranberry or spruce with pomegranate and fizzy pop, you know, just different things. And I, I think I spewed off like maybe three or four different ones <clears throat> and she ended up doing she named it christmas pop and it's a blend of pine cranberry and fizzy pop which the only thing i was scared about was i've said before i don't like pine <laughs> so of the ones that i had said that probably would have been the last one i would have picked uh personally because i don't like pine but who knows it might have worked great in the one that she did and i tell you what her her design is beautiful she had showed it to me when she did it and i thought oh my gosh it is fabulous so it's christmas pop a blend of pine cranberry and fizzy pop poured on 714 i love the label and mine is also a like a shot cup and i i love it so here is the design and there's the top and she had um she said that she was trying to make it look like it had spilled over so obviously the red would be the cranberry right or at least you know the whether that's an actual cranberry scent or just the uh, illusion of it based on the color 
right? And then you got the Christmas tree on top. That is so cute. Nice choice, Michelle. Very nice choice. I'm glad you went with this one of, of the ones that I said. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, I'm not even getting like a strong pine scent because pine to me, I tend to think of pine salt when I smell pine. Again, growing up in the South, I, I kind of got tired of smelling pine um, with all the pine trees around and stuff, but this one, I get a lot of cranberry and the fizzy pop. And oh my gosh, does cranberry and fizzy pop work well? Y'all, if y'all do some kind of blend of your own, try cranberry with fizzy pop. <sighs> wow, that is fantastic. I think the pine might be in the tree. But even then, it's not um it's not that like pine saw smell. Cuz I am still getting the the cranberry in there. Oh my goodness. I could actually get a loaf of this. That is really 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 good Michelle and I'm not saying that just because this is the one that I did because technically like I said I I would have gone with one of the other ones that I because like I said I, I think I spewed off like three different combinations and she went with pine cranberry and fizzy pop and <sighs> nice choice very nice choice Michelle that is awesome all right, everybody, that is everything that I got in my haul from Jim's Daughter Crafts. Um, don't forget to check them out. Don't forget to go look to see which scents might still be available. I think she said that she was going to pour them again later in the year so that she'd have them, you know, closer to the holiday season. So maybe make a note to yourself of which ones you might be interested in and be looking for them later in the year. If you haven't um, already done so, you might want to join her Facebook group so that you're aware of when these things are released. And I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Stay safe, stay healthy. Talk to you later. Bye.